So our thought sequence uh, to me seemed a little bit different. Historically, we were a dairy operation where we were producing uh, alfalfa haylage and corn silage and, and fairly intensive on most of the acres we had, probably to an extreme. Uh, some of the fields we have are, are not easily uh, traversed by equipment. Uh, we were looking for something that uh, might make it a little bit easier uh, as we trans transitioned over to just cattle, not, not dairy cattle. In the process, in that transition, some of what we were doing had to do with cereal grains and summer annuals, but we were still finding that we were traveling over the equipment in an awful lot. And, and uh, honestly, looking for something permanent was very, very attractive. Um, like most of the, the fields, pastures, uh, grasslands in this area, we had a predominance of, of uh, toxic tall fescue. Uh, tall fescue is wonderful because we can abuse the heck out of it and it doesn't die. But there's some problems associated with it from a production standpoint that we were trying to overcome. We've done some of that with novel endophyte, uh, but look for something that, uh, again, down a slightly different path to where native warm season grasses were going to be attractive for us. I'm not going to kid anybody, we rely on fescue still to this day. Um, there's some things about it that are hard to duplicate. Um, we're coming up in a time of year when we, we'd really like to see what kind of conditions we have in September and October to know what kind of cool season grass we're gonna grow because tall fescue really lends itself well to stockpiling. And the longer I can graze cattle in and through the winter, the less hay we've got to feed. The toxicity in the fescue, we, we recognize is there. Uh, we try to manage through it uh, usually by trying to limit the exposure that we have, but uh, unfortunately, if and until we get more other species besides to toxic fescue, we're gonna have to deal with that as it comes. And because pasture is such an important part of that, we have to have a variety to make it work for us. And that's where the native warm seasons come in. And down the road, we're looking at even other natives that aren't necessarily warm season plants either. So we're trying to get a little bit more diversity as we look at some of our future plantings. Mm -hmm.